you know, someone can date for years, mm -hmm. you know, and some people can date for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. Some people might say, oh, no, you have to date for this certain amount of time or years. But for me, I think it's more about the quality mm -hmm. um, that you're investing within that time, within that space of time, how you talk, what you talk about, mm -hmm. the questions you ask, how regularly you speak to each other. Mm -hmm. That's important. That's a tip for dating, mm -hmm. that your, your communication mm -hmm. needs to be strategic. All right, guys. But anyway, so now we're going to move to the next part of our show, which mm. is the how lit was your lockdown? And we're going to be looking at um, marrying young. OK, this has been a, this is turned into a series. Where we have this beautiful couple that's come in and uh, Olu and Dolores. And these two are from different cultural backgrounds, even though they're neighbors. So you got Nigeria over there going over here. And they've literally taken us through the journey on how they how they manage during the lockdown, how they set up things in their marriage as a young couple. They spoke about the challenges. They spoke about how they overcame the challenges. They spoke about investing in yourself first, right? And investing in marriage, in, in relationship, in love life, you know? And and these were very, these are, these are, this is so different to what you normally hear on TV and the media. Usually people are just autopiloting it, you know? And then usually we quite have quite a few crashes with, you know, so much being said about divorces, etc., happening. Mm. Uh, but from what we've been hearing from you two is that we've been hearing a different approach and which is that not rushing into it not getting all emotionally attached but you know using your mind assessing the situation i need to work on me after you're good then you're working to understand about love life and that kind of preparation etc 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 and then you came together and it's, it's been really i've been really enjoying hearing from you too yeah mm -hmm. uh but we're going to now uh, bombard you with some more questions for today. And the next question that we have for you today, what are the good signs for you? All right. You're going to both have, you both have to answer each yeah. of you that someone is engagement material. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now there are people that want to be boyfriend and girlfriend for a long time. Mm -hmm. All right. They say, you know, you even said that your parents say, oh, you know, you think about getting married when you are, you know, you finish your college, finish your university, mm -hmm. but your viewpoint was, if I'm gonna do this, I might as well invest in building with somebody that is yeah. a suitable partner for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's the road you took. So, if somebody's looking for someone, mm -hmm. what things would you say spot in them that would make them engagement material? Start from the gentleman first. Um, I I believe the person needs to be open-minded. Mm. Why I say that is because when you marry someone, it's for life. Uh huh. The, the person that you were married, you was attracted to them, mm -hmm. but they're going to change over time. They're going to grow as a person. Yeah. And I found that Dolores didn't um, judge my changes. Mm. I, I can change like every few months. Okay. Like my interest could be seasonal. Okay. And she just um, flowed with who I was becoming, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of things I needed to change and grow and develop and as she, like, I didn't find like a judgmental attitude. Mm -hmm. um, she was happy to let me grow. Like just, just a random example. I check the news quite regularly and I'm always sending it to her. Mm. That was not something that I would do at the beginning of our relationship, but she's adapted to that, mm. if that makes sense. So I'm sure my interests will change in the next few months. I will find something <laughs> as well. But someone has way to adapt, to let you grow as well, because mm -hmm. you, you are going to change and find new things as time goes by mm. very very interesting and that's very true mm -hmm. that's true so, I mean for someone like I, I mean if I I've been married for two decades right two decades okay and I, I don't I, you know I'm, I'm still look like I'm 16 mm -hmm. right oh, come on kid I'm kidding but um, two decades and yeah people change they adapt and many times in a relationship even those who are really really mature they don't realize that 
They don't mm. realize that their past, their partner is going to change. The partner is receiving new information every single day. I mean, obviously, you got different interests happening. That's your mm. personality. You like to t- soak up information, um, you know. But we change. You know, we're going to different seminars. If you're more of a goal getter, you, you know, what I mean, you're gonna get new information to improve ourselves, yeah. new information to to think differently. So that's a huge one right yeah. there. You know, because I, I, I don't know if you've ever seen this in a, in a, in one of those TV shows. It's like you've changed. You've changed. Mm. You're different. Yeah. I don't know you anymore. <laughs> Yeah, what, what do you think? They, they live in a time capsule? They live in a time bubble? Of course, human beings are like that, right? So that's a really key one right there. And mm. they, they're a new couple. Hello? I don't understand why people would like to suffer. Uh, let's hear your one, Sifa Lady. Um, I would say, like, faithfulness and, well, to weaning towards commitment. Mm-hmm. Because, just like my husband said, your marriage is for life. Mm-hmm. And... Um, this this tip is more for a wider audience because many are in relationships doing boyfriend and girlfriend, but they maybe they have you know like other options on the side or they do, they have times where they take a break and then they go and do other things and mm. each other not aware. Mm. But if you're gonna be getting married, engaged to be married, you need to know that the person's faithful mm-hmm. and gonna be committed to you and only you. Mm-hmm forever yeah. like so that's something that you need to see within your dating mm-hmm. um to understand that like going into engagement that okay are you ready to commit mm. are you actually ready to commit because yeah. if you're not ready to commit don't get married okay and that's that's a strong thing right right because marriage is a co- is a commitment oh mm-hmm. uh, that's what it is and I think that's important because uh, all all you touched on it last week or uh, the other week uh, in the other program that before you used to you used to have this thing of you said you had to just focus mm-hmm. and not looking around yeah. that was one of the challenges that you had mm-hmm. initially yeah. you know so you leveled up you yeah. said now I'm going to be serious stop looking around I'm going to look at this person to invest in this person you had your heart broken before mm-hmm. yeah but okay you healed yourself you got yourself you know what I mean and this is a this is a big thing and I, I don't know if I'm wrong, maybe I'm old fashioned or I'm, I'm losing the plot, but does it seem like there's a culture where it seems like it's a, I use the word cool, mm-hmm. to be uncommitted? Yes, it, there is, there is, there definitely there is. Because I don't know, I mean, like Barbershop, I mean, I'm releasing yeah. some of the like, guys' conversations here and it's probably a forbidden thing, all right, but I've seen him talking about being unfaithful or being like, yeah, you know, I've got this one over and this, like it's a good thing. Yeah. But then they're complaining when they're having problems. Yeah. It's what a crazy cycle. Yeah. Very strange. Very, crazy. Very strange, right? <laughs> so it's like we have these these behaviors that that people can have that they think are they're winning. Mm. But in the long run, when they're by themselves, when they look at the quality of their life and with the standard where their life is, mm-hmm. they got very little to show for it. Yeah. yeah. Wow commitment that's a huge one all right do you have one more yeah i do um humility like the person needs to be humble yeah i say that because you know when, when you start dating and you decide you want to um over prioritize and say now i want to get engaged to this person mm-hmm. i want to establish this commitment um there are changes that are going to be needed to be made within the course of the relationship mm. and there are some changes going to challenge everybody mm-hmm. and that challenge is not always um, met with a smile wow. so if this person is like I'm set in my ways mm. this is how you met me you liked me this way I'm not going to change that's going to cause a problem for your marriage because well I'm not having that yeah it needs to be changed do you know where I come from yeah <laughs> there needs to be change on both sides mm. so like if you can see that the person like receives, uh, let's say, let's use the term correction, and they they make it happen, I'm happy that at least I know that we can develop as a relationship, as a couple, because yeah. if something needs to be changed, I've seen that characteristic in you that you're willing to be humble and make that change. Flexible, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, isn't it? What do you think of that? Yeah. Flexible, yeah, flexible. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true because I think I said it before, but you kind of you can't just 
be stay the same that mm. you come into marriage to different people but you have to kind of sacrifice parts of you to make it work mm. so yeah there has to be that that some sort of level of humility or flexibility in you mm. to make a relationship grow and i think and i think and i think this is so important because we're two separate people coming together as one so they we're going to be at odds in different things right mm. and yeah i think that humility allows two people to kind of gel together because if the person wants to be like yeah like you're voicing like look i think this needs to change mm -hmm. and the person's like flipping about it like mm -hmm. yeah 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 oh stop being crazy ah yeah it's just ding, ding, you know what i mean just totally deflecting everything uh then there's going to be problems there's going to be problems because you don't feel free you don't feel free like to grow and develop together isn't mm -hmm. it and how would you how how would you what would you do to know if the person's humble or not what would I do to know? Give us some skills. Give us some. Give us some tips, there, guys. Oh, do you know what? Um, this is a funny one. I read. I read something in the Bishop Macedo book, mm. and when I read that, I said I couldn't believe he did it. Nothing to lose. Yeah, he would leave like I think Miss Esther actually put in her book. She, she, he would leave like things around the house mm. for her to pick up, mm. but then she clocked that she he was doing this on purpose mm. just to test whether she will do it or not. Mm. So there may be times before the marriage where you might have to test the person to see what they will, um, how they will react to the situation mm. and whether they're gonna bring that change that's necessary mm. to work, for the relationship to work. Okay. Yeah. When I read it, I was shocked, but I understood why. Yeah. So, so the dating period is to test the person as oh, well. Oh, you need to know. Yeah, because you don't you don't want to be mean and be like, no. I'm, just, I'm in your mind. I'm just I'm just scanning you. I'm exercising mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. I'm just seeing where you're gonna go wrong. Yeah. But no, there's no. It's not in that intention. Not at all. But there are moments where you get to see the person's personality if they are compatible with you, mm -hmm. because there is there may be some women who say. Why should I pick that up? I ain't no yeah. one slave, mm -hmm. right? They, they exist, right? Um, and no, the woman isn't anyone's slave. Not all. Uh, but if in in the guy's mind, he's a, he has a thought of, okay, you know what? We're a team here, uh, but I'm looking for the type of woman who takes ownership of her home, right? That's that's what he's looking for. Mm -hmm. And the lady has a background of, yeah, I want to take ownership of my home, yeah. right? She could be different. She could be like, nah, you know, you take ownership of the home. Everybody has a different belief system and the dating system is, the dating time is an, an opportunity to find out where our belief systems are and they lie. And when you test them, like with small things like that, you see if they're genuine yeah. in what they're saying. Yeah. Even building on, I just one more point. Um, you, you need someone that wants you and not anything that you have. Mm. Just for example, like um, there are places or positions that I've grown into mm -hmm. within marriage mm -hmm. that I was not at before marriage. Mm -hmm. And perhaps if I had made an advancement to another woman mm -hmm. because I wasn't in a certain place or position, she would not have accepted my advancements. Mm. But the Lord has accepted me when I did not have these places or positions so I could see that this was a genuine person mm -hmm. that, um, as I said before, wanted to grow together in that relationship. So a person that wants you for you, I think, I, I don't want to get married because you like things that I have. What's that? Yeah. That's not yeah. marriage to me. That's true. That's a very good, that's a really good one. That's And that's huge, right? Mm -hmm. Because if you have someone like that, what happens a year or a later or two years later or whenever when that hard that hard time comes because mm -hmm. there will be times times where there will be challenges mm -hmm. financial challenges family challenges all kinds of things like that right the, the situation could change mm -hmm. and so if you have someone that's going to be a negatron you know bec because you was up there when you met you and then now things are not so good they yeah. switch that's not gonna work. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you have one last one for us, Dolores? So um, we can move on. No, no I think you, you guys yeah. covered it. Yeah. All right. Fantastic. Excellent. Uh, we got a question here. Uh, let me just see here. Okay. This one was about COVID. All right. We'll come back to that, champions. All right. If you've got any questions for the couple, just let me know, guys, because uh, we're gonna just whack them out, whack them out of the park. Okay. So next question I got for you two here is this: What would you say is a suitable age to get married, and why? 
what would you say is a suitable age? Um, I don't even think you can get married well in the UK if, if you're not under 18. <laughs> I'm not sure about other countries, but yeah, definitely over 18. Um, mm. But to be honest, it's more about when you're ready, like to be married, mm-hmm. to get married. Like I said pre- in previous shows, when you sort out yourself mm-hmm. internally, and also when you've kind of picked up a level of responsibility for your life, mm-hmm. because you know when you get when you're getting married, you're not only t- c- taking care of yourself, but you're taking care of the other person. If you can't take care of yourself, mm-hmm. you can't take care of the other person at all. Mm-hmm. So you need to have that level of responsibility. You know, personally, I advise the person to, to obviously be working. Mm-hmm. You know, have their job, mm-hmm. have some sort of some sort of stability, some sort of you know, routine happening in their lives because Mm -hmm. this is really important, you know, for your marriage as well because you're going to be in some sort of routine and responsibility. Mm -hmm. So you need to have that and be doing relatively good at that Mm -hmm. um, so that it's not a really, it's not a a real struggle for you later. Mm -hmm. So for me, it's just when you're ready in your mind and also, you know, in your life as well. That's like, what I personally would say. Okay, because you know everybody has their own perception yeah, of things, it's right? True. So you got some people that you look at and they're like, "You're like this person's so immature." Mm-hmm. So immature, they, they, yeah. you know what I mean? But in the end, no, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to face the world. You know. Um, so really, I think that age is a because you would have had learnt particular skills right by that time, by the time of eighteen plus, right? Mm. Um, but I think that's sorting yourself out first. I think that's a huge one, isn't it? Because mm-hmm. it allows you to be a bit balanced. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think, um, yeah, I think that's really important. I mean, I think the key thing, you two went to the Victory Youth Group, yeah. so you were mentored. Yeah. You know I mean, you got taught about faith and all that kind of stuff mm-hmm. and you, it helped you overcome the different issues you had. So you, you, you changed as people, you yeah. evolved as people, right? So I think we need to look out for that. So there's not so so look, over the legal age. I think the person has to discern, isn't it, and probably yeah. get yes. um, you know probably get some. Do you think some good sources, some good people who would you know would be able to give a good guidance or you know for to sure. kind of validate their thoughts? Because mm-hmm. you know what I mean. Because like I know like y- your parents, you know, obviously because they wanted to protect you, were like no. Mm-hmm. But you kind of knew within yourself, you kind of developed within yourself. And I believe you had, you know, you had people who could like kind of testify to yes. your character. Yeah, it's true. You mm-hmm. know, so I think that's kind of important. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well done, you guys. Okay. Fantastic. All right. You know, what I think what we'll do, we're going to call for a break now. All mm-hmm. right. So we can get a bit of a, we'll get, a, get, get our breath back a little bit. All right. But I think this has actually been quite interesting. And those of you who are tuning in now or you're going to watch the show later on or you want to watch the show later on, uh, you'll be able to see the repeats of all our interviews on The Breakfast Show on Robust Life TV. Uh, we've got the URL, youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Robust Life TV. And you can catch up and you can scribble down some notes or confirm your notes or show it to someone who you know might be considering getting married at some point in their life and you know that these wonderful pearls will actually help them uh, on their decisions and their journey. guys welcome back to your breakfast show we have olu and dolores with us this morning and we're having such a lovely interview with them both as we're talking about marrying young and we've posed to them some lovely questions and they just answered so beautifully uh by the way i just want to uh just go straight into our live chat because we have israel from vyg in Lozelles, and he says um i believe at 25 and onwards is the best time to get married by that age uh, should be ready uh, mature enough to take responsibility as well as being somehow financially stable uh, and also he says thank you guys for the advice as well uh, so that's a re- that's a really good point 25 that's a pretty decent number uh, but you know but you're getting different informations at different times right yeah. um, you know like I think you said it I said it like when I we were both looking at property getting onto the property ladder from the age of 20 yeah 
that's what I knew. I don't know why it came to my head. I don't know why, mm-hmm. but it did. And so you would you would be searching out different types of information. Yeah. During my time, it, nowadays it's a bit a little bit more common those kind of conversations. Yeah, I think. Yeah. During my time, it wasn't so common. People mm-hmm. would just think of renting straight away. Yeah. So I was kind of fortunate enough. So by the time we got twenty five, hopefully, especially in this environment, yeah, you should you know have enough information to make some really good choices. All right. So we've got um, uh, our next question that we've got coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, let me just show you here. I got oh gosh, I got someone on the breakfast show hotline, but we have to deal with that later. Okay, so it says here. Okay, next question. Okay, yeah. So give us five tips for healthy dating, guys. Okay, let's five. start from oh yeah. Five tips for healthy dating. Yeah, because you can date wrong, right? Oh, you can date wrong. You can date wrong, crash yourself, and set yourself on fire, and just be consumed, right? But then there's healthy dating where you can get some good results. Whether you walk away from it or you continue with it, there's a healthy way to go about it. Mm-hmm. So, what would you to say would would it be? Number one, open your eyes and your ears and see what you are seeing and hear what you are hearing. And I implore you to disconnect that from your heart because when you connect all three, Mm -hmm. your heart can stop you from seeing what is actually in front of you and hearing what's actually what has been said. And you start to tell yourself it's not that, it's this. Mm -hmm. But you need to see it. The way it is, mm-hmm. so that you know what you're you're going into. Mm-hmm. So open your eyes, open your ears, and yeah, listen and see. Okay, so see things for what they are. Yeah, because you can get that person that is like they just want to make it work mm-hmm. you know or they've been by themselves for so long yeah they want this person to work. They see some good points, mm-hmm. but they see something they're like. Oh my God, it's gonna bless, it's gonna work, it's gonna work, it's gonna work. They start going into a prayer rant. You know what I mean? And like, he's it's, it's gonna change him, it's gonna change her. Right? All that. So that they disconnect from reality mm-hmm. when they don't, don't get me wrong. Not, I think what you're saying is not everybody's perfect. Yeah. Nobody's perfect. But there are some characteristics or things that maybe lack of faithfulness, Mm -hmm. lack of commitment or, you know, lack of humbleness, Mm -hmm. certain things that maybe for the individual is a is a red card Big time. right so i think so I, I, can i add this one just because because you mentioned this yeah i think we need to, you need to have your intolerable like a, t- a tick Ooh. list things that you don't tolerate yeah and the things that okay yeah you, yeah. you know what i mean mm-hmm. yeah. i think going into a relationship with those kind of eyes mm-hmm. will kind of keep you sober yeah right so i think i think that's important you know things that you t- like are no no if this is happening the person doesn't want to change no if this exists it's a no no the person's not ready yet mm-hmm. it's a no <laughs> yeah it's a, it's a no. no no it's not happening it's like as soon as like, as soon as it's like, uh, uh, okay no no we don't have to you don't need to have dinner yeah. no you could you can say okay i'll pay for the meal all right yeah. i'm out of here yeah all right uh but then you've got things that all right you you could tolerate and see if they will change mm-hmm. and then you've got things that are like all right no problem mm-hmm. you know that you know the person always seems to like mm-hmm. they burp without covering their mouth <laughs> some people they can't tolerate it some people are like oh let it go you know, mm-hmm. you know what I mean I think yeah. to have a list so that that is thing so what you're saying is so keep your eyes and ears open in reality yeah yeah don't get emotional not at all and have and I, and I think just to add to that like a transform a little addition yeah 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 have your like have your like checklist, checklist. yeah, yeah. Oh, just to actually add on that point mm. um well kind of feeding off from yep it, go ahead true. sis i remember before i started dating i actually had like a checklist mm. already in my mind of what was tolerable like basically the core things that i wanted mm-hmm. in the in the relation but what i wanted in the dating mm-hmm. because of course you know everyone has their you know downfalls and things that are not the most prettiest things mm-hmm. But as long as you have your core, like the core things you're looking for, mm-hmm. then that's what will sustain you. Because at, at the end of the day, like you said, it's not about burping. That's not really gonna, in my opinion. Well, yeah, that's not really gonna. Some people are different. Yeah, so some people, someone see that they're like. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> it's not about you know. Yeah, but yeah. others are like it's not a big thing. Yeah, so it's the main things that you need to look at. If those main things are not in place, mm-hmm. for example, if the person doesn't have the same like 
goals as you mm. like the direction you want to go in life yeah for me that's a red card because okay. then you're going to clash yeah like, one wants to go that way that person wants to go that way yeah. so where do we go kind of thing mm. that's a, that's that's one of the core values for me mm-hmm. for example that you should be looking at mm-hmm. for example um okay. yeah so anything else that i was thinking um yeah another thing is just like making your dating like quality in the sense of quality and not just about for example we were saying sometimes that you know some people can date for years mm-hmm. you know and some people can date for a short amount of time mm-hmm. some people might say oh no you have to date for this certain amount of time or years but for me I think it's more about the quality mm-hmm. um, that you're investing within that time within that space of time how you talk what you talk about okay. the questions you ask how regularly you speak to each other mm-hmm that's important that's a tip for dating Mm -hmm. that your your communication Mm -hmm. needs to be strategic like your communication with each other but be open like Mm -hmm. be straightforward with what you want ask the questions that you need to ask Mm -hmm. so that you're not you don't have question like marks in your mind and you're just there Mm. thinking I'll, I'll ask this later or yeah, I'll ask this later and I think the worst thing we can do is assume stuff yeah right um, we assume maybe like for example you was in a youth group right mm-hmm. and you know that sometimes a person that we could spend our life with is in our circle yeah usually it's, it's in our circle someone that's not mm. far from us and because of that we might have some assumptions right mm. right we might have what you from what you're telling me you this is what you're making me feel like you could have you can make some assumptions based on what don't get me wrong what other people can tell you about the person helps in your investigation right <laughs> it's that deep right <laughs> this is about your life <laughs> all right but um but they might they might say things because they look at them in a particular light they don't know, they don't know who them. they are really if you get what i mean mm-hmm. And you could make assumptions, dangerous assumptions. So yeah, so be strategic, be deep in your communication, be meaningful. Wow, that, I think that's really important. That's a huge one right there. Mm-hmm. You know, and I think what it is, if you're if you're if you're looking for a commitment and a serious relationship, that means you're a serious individual, right? Right. You whatever your age is, you're serious about your life. You're serious about doing something with your life. So. Mm-hmm hard questions is part of your communication because you're serious but if you're blase like oh yeah let's see oh, let's see how you are oh yeah oh, yeah baby yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah I look like this yeah 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 look at my arms like you know you won't have those deep conversations and maybe uncomfortable conversations yeah. Right, yes. if the person's scared of uncomfortable conversations, maybe that could be a sign mm-hmm. yeah. that the person's not, not serious for something going forward. Mm-hmm. Because then, imagine when you need to get together, then you need to have some serious conversations. It'll be hard. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow, mm-hmm. you guys, you guys need to write a book. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. So, so what are you saying? So, watch, watch you know, your conversation. Make sure they're quality, uh, and be strategic in your conversation. So, make the dating period quality. Yeah. Find out everything about the person. Mm-hmm. What if the person's withholding information? Patience for a second, mm. because you know. Um, Everyone has different experiences, mm. situations. Mm-hmm. Um, you don't you don't know what the information is yet. Mm-hmm. Um, but if the person is not willing to share this information at all ever, mm-hmm. then yeah, you, you, the person does have to go. Yeah. But there are just some things that perhaps they don't want to share out of shame mm. or a fear of how they are going to receive that mm-hmm. or something that they're working on to change, and then they can show you. Yeah. Just a quick example. Um, I was working on debt, mm-hmm. and but I was working on it, mm-hmm. and I was fearful of sharing it. Mm-hmm. But I did. I did end up sharing it. Mm-hmm. But I, at, at this point where I shared it, I was so like um, close to um, completely wiping it. But I did share it like I think quite early on. No. Did yeah. that? Yeah, I did show it on quite a bit. It was like, 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 oh, listen, I like you and I have that. And then it didn't start like that. <laughs> so, you know, 
Yeah. So so even be tactical in your conversation, right? Yeah. Um, so that'll be interesting. All right. So we've got how many we got here? We got I think we've got about we've got I think we've got five here. I mean is it is any oh, one more. One more. I think I just mentioned it, but patience mm-hmm. in general because there will be things that oh uh, you might see you don't like. Mm-hmm. But that's been how they they have been for a period of time. Mm. It's not gonna change overnight. Okay. So don't have an overnight expectation about change. Okay. But change will happen as long as the person is humble. Change will happen so long as the person is it's humble. Because they're going to work on it. Yeah. But when you when you work on something that's new, there's going to be, um, um, is it like pit stops? Yeah. It's going to be like, you're, I'm learning to how to drive. Okay. And I keep stood in the car. So, so let me understand. So, mm-hmm. so what you said about the person being humble, mm-hmm. that's like, that's that's probably a, the most like your main thing. Yeah. Right? So when you're dating the person, dating period is also to see how the person can evolve with you during the dating period. Literally. Yeah. So like, you know, like you said just now, because it's not a thing of, no, you don't have this. You don't have that. No, get out. No, bye-bye. No, Who's next? No. You're using that period as well to adapt and adjust to understand the person. Obviously, like only the father knows once you get on the same route together it's a whole new battleship game and a kind of, you know what I mean of, of things to kind of work towards but in the dating period at least on the, on the surface them being open to adapt and to change for you two to get along that's mm-hmm. that's a that's an important sign for you mm-hmm. very because for me like, I was just I was giving an example like I'm learning to drive and I'm stalling yeah manual car is not easy yeah, yeah, but I'm guessing there. Um, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to eventually drive without stalling. That's true. So just give patience, have patience for change. When's a good length of time to date? We dated for one year and three months. Okay. You know, I've had the saying of how can you marry someone without going through the whole calendar year? You don't know how they are in summer and how yeah. they are in winter. <laughs> I've heard all the jokes. I like that. But then I've had I've heard of successfully married people like for your, like yourself. I had someone that was date. They have been married for over 20 years or so mm. and they only dated for six months yeah so i think again like putting a time frame or age sounds reasonable mm-hmm. but it's also the quality of the person the quality of the time that you are spending that will determine um how long you should date or how long or what age you should be married Okay. Wow. Quality. It's all about quality. Look, if you want commitment, if you want marriage, it's all about quality, right? If you're a quality person, you want quality things. Some mm. people say, I don't need to be married to have quality. Okay, that's your belief system. But that's what I'm getting from what you guys are sharing, from what you guys have so far mm-hmm. that, you, that you've been blessed with, all right? Uh, so, okay, because I'm going to get through these questions now because I, I, you know, I just really want to just throw it out as much. And uh, basically, Ines is saying, wow, this is amazing. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I didn't know this existed till now. I'll be tuning in uh, now before work. Uh, I'm happy to have you with us in this. All right. Uh, it says here now some warning signs to look out for when dating. Ooh. So I've been saying humility. So I'm um, pride. Pride. Okay. So pride. warning signs. So you're dating the person. You're probably at a restaurant and you're talking, right? You're having a conversation, or maybe you're outside. Yeah. Uh, so one of the warning signs is pride signs of pride like like, like you just gave example about um, a restaurant like imagine now um, something goes wrong with uh, the food and then there's like a total disrespect to the waiter mm. of course there may be frustration mm-hmm. but like a total disrespect to the waiter for me personally I feel like it's unnecessary okay what if a man did it disrespected the waiter it's the same thing. It's the same thing. Same okay. Thing. All right. Yeah. Just just have to check. Yeah. Just have yeah. to check because sometimes, depending on the roles, and like if a woman disrespects a way, it's like, whoa, I'm out of here. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, but then if the man disrespects the way, as I know some women might be like, oh, that's quite, he, he seems very strong. Mm-hmm. But in your books, it's like, nah. Like, there's one thing to like, I, I don't know, if rubbish food comes on the plate and you've paid excess amount of money, mm-hmm. I'm not going there and be saying, how, like, um, speaking in my softest of voice, mm. but I'm going to be assertive to get a change. Yeah. But not... In a respectful, in a, in a respectful clear manner. manner, yeah. Not be there, like, this in the person's... um. Um, their occupation or what you do like no no mm-hmm. please don't do that 
And I think the key thing is that if you're like that with someone you don't know, mm-hmm. how about me when we're living under the same roof? Mm-hmm. Yes. And I think that's it. That's one of the signs, yeah. isn't it? Okay, another one. Lack of transparency. <sighs> that's a yeah. huge one. Lack of transparency. Okay, why do you say that? Well, because... Um, for example, if a person's not transparent about maybe where they are, where they're going, or what they're up to mm. during the day, um, or about things that they've gone through, mm-hmm. then y- how you how do you know the person for who they really are? Mm-hmm. You know, the, you don't know the person for who they are. Some people, of course, they're just naturally more, they're not that open anyway. Mm. Um, like in my case, I wasn't the most open of person. I mm. kept a lot of things to myself, but I had to learn to be transparent mm. <clears throat> for the benefit of relationship so that he's clear on what's going on or what's happening. Mm. So there's no question marks to think of, oh, maybe this person's this or this person's like, over there or doing things that I wouldn't really approve of because everyone has a different past yeah. so when you're transparent and you're an open book then you leave um, room for a person to trust you okay. and trust in a relationship is very important mm. but it's only going to come if you're transparent mm-hmm. okay alright so we've got uh, pride and lack of transparency alright do we have one more one more tip something to see yeah warning signs warning signs when dating and you know what's interesting um, these are character things that you guys are speaking about right these are literally I mean this says a lot right it's, you're a young couple got married you've gone through things and you've learnt together you've developed together and you know you, you have a healthy relationship together and you're starting out all right and you've gone through you've done some time you've gone through the year you've gone through a crazy time right and you're not one of those two people that like strangle each other mm-hmm. you know um on each other's necks uh but you've picked on things to do with character mm-hmm. character there are many people who you know when it comes to dating the, t- the what they're looking for is so superficial mm-hmm. it, or it's to do with what they have mm-hmm. but you're looking at the internal workings characteristics uh, of the person you know and, and this is actually very interesting mm-hmm. that's a very powerful sign uh, so i do have one more mm. um as a guy going for a woman i want you would want a woman that is uh discreet um so I'm not screaming that the woman should have no friends, mm-hmm. but I don't want a woman that is everywhere all the time. Mm. And then um, all your friends are guys. Mm. I, 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 God bless everyone else that can handle that, but it's not for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not for me. Oh, wow. That's not for me. Okay, here you go. What do you think of that? Uh, you, what do you think of that one? Totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I have one quick one. Then. Yeah, go on. Um, a warning sign is like when the person's perhaps too attached to their family, mm. and yeah, too attached to their family, like every all the time, or my family, my family. Because if you can't let go of your family, yeah, yeah, to start a new one. To, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and I, know, I know you spoke about that because that was a tough one for you. Mm-hmm. But you had to go through the process and do it. Yeah. Guys, there you have it. All right. Uh, look, look, this has been absolutely an, a phenomenal, uh, wonderful morning with you both. All right. I'm, we're going to put this up, repost it on Facebook. You're going to be able to get it on YouTube. But I want to thank you both for being with us these, um, the, on, these, on this, this series, mm-hmm. you know, on Marrying Young. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's been very insightful. You've brought a lot of stuff to my, to, to my mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You made me aware of a lot of new things as well. Yeah. And, um, you know, whatever you guys do next, I know that you guys are going to do it together and you're going to break through. Thank you. You know, mm-hmm. just keep these principles that you know, because they're very healthy principles. Yeah. Very healthy. And like you have, if we had like a, you know, you could get a pull a couple who've done like 50 years of marriage and you know they'll probably listen to you and they'll be like 
Gosh, if I knew that when I was, if I knew that earlier, I would have mm-hmm. sort of resolved a lot of problems. So, look, guys, thank you so much for joining us today, and we mm-hmm. wish you both the best on your journey. Thank you so much. All right, and guys, I hope this program has been beneficial to you. We've had to cut the time because we've had so much content today, and Hugo's just showing me the watch. <laughs> okay, um, but the breakfast show is on from six thirty to eight a.m., and this is about being about marrying young. We're in a crazy time. The uh, the pandemic is easing up in the UK at this current moment in time if you watch it in YouTube obviously we don't know what the situation is going to be then but literally take these tools on board join us tomorrow tomorrow we're going to be having um, we're going to be having uh, Mr. Innes coming in and we're going to be talking about increasing your financial IQ okay we're going to be going on about what's happening we're going to be touching it's going to be a new series we're going to be going into stock markets we're going to be talking about the current financial climate what you can do to safeguard yourself why you need to safeguard yourself it's going to be all about building and it's going to be over three weeks and we're going to be literally taking it step by step literally preparing you guys to go out there and work this thing in the financial climate and grow something big for whatever you want to do and to protect you and your family's future so don't miss tomorrow it's gonna we're gonna kick off from 6 30 and it's gonna and he's gonna be here in the studio and it's gonna be so what we've got prepared for you is gonna be so so powerful it will literally everything changes your life that we share this is going to change your life mm-hmm. if you take it on board and put everything to practice all right guys so thank you so much for joining us uh, captain hugo you've been a great man of sound all right and everyone else thank you for joining us this morning louisa from the park loved it and we love you too louisa and all the rest of our breakfast show faithfuls stay powerful stay strong stay robust check out robust life tv on youtube and subscribe and like that's what they say because that's going to go on youtube so i might as well say it in, <laughs> in the recording because i haven't done it up until now and until then libertyradio.co.uk from 6 a.m Ciao for now. Connect online Monday to Friday with special guests for inspiration, motivation to start your morning right. Music, banter, fun and laughter. Connect when you start your mornings with The Breakfast Show. Only on libertyradio.co.uk That's right, The Breakfast Show is back. libertyradio.co.uk from 6.30am.